Now someone by the name of Shaggy Rogers writes in, if you don't mind, what pilots have you sold recently? Uh, well, there's two that I have sold to production companies this year. Oh, great. Uh, one is a serial drama, crime serial drama. Let me do the log line. It's, uh, it's True Detective meets Ray Donovan. <laughs> and it is a, a very, very dark story uh, about a, a guy in um, uh, Santa Monica. We set it in Santa Monica because it's Santa Monica is a very corrupt town. You know, so no one's ever <laughs> talked about the corruption. It's old drug money. Oh, really? Wow. Uh, yes. Uh, and, uh, but he's a very dark hero. Uh, and he, he, he solves crimes, um, but he does so uh, while, well, he actually solves them because he's also, he has the instincts of a child molester. Oh. And he's actually kidnapped and keeps captive an 11 year old girl in his basement. Ooh. Yes, very dark. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but he, he doesn't molest her, but, and in fact, she becomes his ally. Oh, like the Stockholm Syndrome kind of thing? Uh, yes, mm -hmm. except for both of them. So he's battling this terrible impulse inside of himself, but because he's battling it, because he doesn't give in to it, he actually develops a relationship with her and it helps him solve crimes. And she becomes someone who helps him solve crimes and who helps him heal. Mm. So it's very dark, uh, but uh, it's, it, it has, it's, it's a crime drama. So there is, there's, it's an episode, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a crime solved every uh, a week, but there's also a long arc over the course of the entire uh, season. And that's sort of fashionable now to have both, to have, um, um, but it's a discomforting um, premise. It's, it's very raw and very yeah. dark. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, 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 a, it's a dark, dark crime drama. And the other one is the Jack Johnson miniseries, um, which is a miniseries. So what I was thinking to talk about today a little bit was the fact that I've got this superhero miniseries, then I've also got this serial drama where the guy doesn't really heal. In that crime drama, he doesn't really heal. So his wound is bleeding all through the season and will continue to bleed all through the other seasons. He will never get healthy. He will never stop desiring underage girls. Um, but it is a, it's like a nuclear reactor, it's contained fire. But the struggle is always there. And how do you make him, by the way, likable and sympathetic? That was the big question, right? Because that's a tough one, right? How do you make that character like him and sympathetic? What about it like in Lolita? Well, the, the that's a movie. Mm -hmm. And I didn't particularly like Humbert Humbert. Um, but um, I felt sympathy for him because he was so, he it was so clearly he was going to crash and burn, right? I mean, he was so in, in thrall to this awful, awful desire. He, 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 if, he'd, if he could have, he'd have given it up, yeah? Who would want to be enthralled to this awful desire, right? Mm -hmm. So the, if you had sympathy for Humbert Humbert, it was that he's, he's doing something that is going to earn him the opprobrium of everyone in the world, and yet he can't not do it, right? Mm -hmm. He can't not do it. So it's like a, it's watching a guy who can't keep himself from cutting his own throat. He's gonna, he's gonna do it, even though he knows it's gonna kill him. That's one of the things in this um, sharp objects mm. is that she's a cutter, and, and yeah, yeah, and so. So our sympathy for her is that it's it's wounding behavior that she can't help, right? And we see her pain, and so I'm showing, and we're showing in this story, because um, uh, I have a really brilliant co-writer uh, in this story as well. I like working with other people. Uh, Lori Johnson is, is her name, um, that help uh, humanize this, this guy, this, this horrible guy, by showing that he was the victim of, of an insane, horrible father. And that he not only has a genetic uh, propensity, which he has, uh, uh, to be 
to have this 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 twisted sexuality. But he also his his own sister was raped and killed by his father, and he had to watch it and uh, 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 and 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 watch uh, all of that happen. So we get that story, and he's also suicidal. So we get all that story in in the pilot, um, which is important when you have someone this awful. You've got to make quickly show uh, something that makes them more sympathetic, or you've lost your audience entirely. And maybe you should. I mean, I know people think Hollywood is horrible for even entertaining the idea that that a character like this should be sympathetic, right? So that's part of the controversy too. Should you even have a character like this on the air? Hmm. I don't know, but um, it, it's it's a powerful story. So that's, those are the two uh, I'm most involved with right now. But I'm always open for more. You know, I love collaborating with people. Um, it's my thing. And um, I, I always, when I go and teach or talk somewhere, um, I often get somebody to come to me and say, yeah, honey, what do you think of this story? And, and a lot of the times I, I say, yeah, let's do it. Uh, um, I'm excited to put my learning to use with somebody else uh, and their vision. It seems to be... Uh, kind of the way uh, I work the best. Okay. Hiding behind someone else. <laughs> and then if it's not good, hey, it's their fault. <laughs> Look, I did the best I could. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, like that. it's great. <laughs>